Pa-dum. All right. What's good, Truth Church? It's another Tuesday night. What's everybody doing? Hope all is good. I just got set up here. Got on the Google Wi-Fi at Starbucks nearby. And uh, Tim will be on here shortly. But thanks for joining in. Another word of truth here at Truth Church. We really appreciate you guys just uh, always chiming in and being in uh, with us and going on this journey as we um, just keep growing in the Lord, right? So let me uh, just take a moment and see if I can share this. Y'all do the same. Let's see. Request viewers. Got it. Uh, let's see here. All right. Zoom. Sorry about that, guys. Um, so, yeah, take a moment to share. We appreciate that. Thanks for coming on to Truth Church. As you saw, the, uh, the heart cry that Tim and I had a couple days ago that just overwhelmingly spoke to us was um, God knows what he is doing. So God knows what he is doing. And we'll talk more about that, what that looks like in our life and what we mean by that. God knows what he's doing. Sometimes we need that reminder that God knows what he's doing. Um, all right. So comments. Let me see here. How come I can't share? Do, 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 do. Just my comments there. Bam, bam. Requests. All right. Um, I don't see who's on yet. I see two eyeballs. And hey, Dustin, what's up, buddy? No viewers, no viewers to invite. Dustin's on. So, anyways, thanks for joining on again to Truth Church. And um, I'm just. I guess I'm just um, amazed at at God, like the, His goodness. <laughs> A viewer wants to be on. This is Tim. His goodness. I'm just on by His goodness right now. So I'll just leave it at that for right now. See when Tim gets on. <laughs> What's up? What's, What's up, up, bro? Doing good, buddy. Doing good. Hey, Dustin, thanks for being on. Staying hydrated. You. Yeah, you better in that 120-degree heat. No, oh, dude, it's <laughs> it's actually down to 90 now, so. Oh, that's good. So, so we're all good, but, you know, at the same time, it's a little bit hot. Thank Still. God. Nice, nice. So, so anyway, I was trying, to, I was yeah, trying to share, but I don't see my share on here, but... uh. Uh, Mom and Dad, if you guys are on, if you could take a moment and share to Evelyn and let her know um, and share the link, that'd be awesome. I appreciate that. But what's going on, Tim? Oh, man, I'm just, I'm driving. I'm on the 5 going south to Malibu, California. Woo! Malibu, Malibu. Uh, <laughs> but I'm all completed. I'm all completed with my, with my workout here, so I'm just headed home, but... I got a great awesome, friend. Dude. I got a great friend um, who I'm going to visit. His name is Logan, and he uh, he lives in Vegas. And I contacted him. And I said, "Hey, you know, what are you doing tonight? I might roll through Vegas." And he said, he, "He was the guy I was visiting last time." And he said, "Oh, I'm in Malibu." I was like, "Well, I'm gonna come see you there." <laughs> Dang. That's so awesome. yeah. So uh, anyway, the same dude. Uh, what, what was his name? Logan LaSalle. Logan. Yeah, gotcha. he's a he's a great guy. God, nice. uh, God has definitely blessed him. Cool. He went from he went from the pit. Uh oh, losing you. Losing he's a good you. guy, great, talented artist. Nice, nice, yeah. great, talented artist. You actually broke so, up there for a minute but you're back oh uh, i'm sorry anyway i was saying he works for louis vuitton louis vuitton now oh that's right that's the dude i remember you telling me about yeah him. yeah cool. yeah he's a he's a really cool guy really really great uh artist so anyway um that's awesome, it's always man. good to, to connect to connect with people that that uh are using god's god's uh eyesight you know yes and and yes. visualizing 
what what God is seeing and, and them drawing it. I think it's so cool. That is, man. Bro, that, that reminds me, that's actually how we got into this uh, topic the other day about God knows what he's doing. Oh, and you that's and right. I, remember we talked about the eyeball and we're like, man, like God made this amazing eye. Like what we could do with this eye, what we see is just tremendous. We look in the sky and we're like, man, look at the colors of the sky. And they were like, oh, let me take a picture of it. And, and it never does it justice, like what our eyeball sees. We're like, man, God, God truly knows what he is doing. Because look how he designed us, look how he made us. And, um, you know, you and I were talking about how sometimes we need that reminder. Like, we, we start fretting over all these little things and some of these big things. And we start fretting and, and like, man, what's going to happen here? and What's going to happen there? And it's like, no, if we would just believe and have faith in him, like, hey, hold on, deep breath. God knows what he's doing. Like... Like he he spoke the world into existence. I think he knows what he's doing. Everybody's flipping out, man. But the church, man, the church should be like this, and the church should be like that. God knows what he's doing. Wow. You know? Yeah, but this pastor, you don't understand. He's doing this and this. And God knows what he's doing. And so, like that was like the overwhelming the other day. Just Tim and I just had an awesome conversation, and then all of a sudden, God just hit us with that. And it just hit us like a ton of bricks because we were just like, wow, that's so true. Like, who are we to tell God how to do what he does? <laughs> like, like, really? Well, we and, and my view on that is we're so used to computers and technology that we have to tell it what to do or it tells us what to do. So I'm not saying necessarily that's the only reason why we're so controlling or feel like we have yeah. to have that control. But... But honestly, I feel like, you know, we've had to, we've had to go from being relaxed to knowing what's going on because otherwise we, we fear that something else might tell us the wrong way. Yeah. You know, that's we, so true. And, and it's like, let's say you're on a huge hike and you're, I'm going through these crazy mountains right now. Right. And it's uh like straight uphill and windy and all that. And it's like, right. I don't have enough battery or, you know, to, uh, I think a bird just like totally crapped all over my van. <laughs> I, I just I got like it. 25 <laughs> drops of crap. <laughs> I, heard, I heard it went. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> yeah, it was like a freaking bullet. Anyway, that's side note. Okay. Anyway, moving forward, I'm driving, yeah. up, I, I'm driving up this mountain and it's like, God, what's going on? You know, like, when do I need to turn right. next? You know, and all this kind of stuff. Like, how am I going to be online and still know where to go? Because I've never been to Malibu before. So how am I going to know how to get there? And he's like, well, just look at your GPS and take a screenshot of it. But still, it's like, then there's still like that fear in your heart. Like, what if I miss the exit? I'm so used to looking at my GPS. And, you know, I use that as an example to say, like, we're told what to do so much Wow. That like we fear, we fear using our minds. We fear putting our laptop down. You know, we fear not showing a video during wow. a presentation because what if you know? What if we say the wrong word? I'd rather have it be perfect. And here's a video. Everybody watch the pastor on the screen. Okay, that's a side wow. note. But but you know, there's there's just like. I'm saying this because I'm in the creative world, you know, like yeah. you can use it for the glory of God, but it, when God says, put it down, it's time to put it down because God knows what he's doing. If he, if he's <laughs> asking you to lay it down, he's asking you to lift him up. Yes. To trust, yes. to trust that you hear his voice. And a yeah. lot of times his voice is so much clearer than what we see in front of our eyes. Although our eyes can see so intricately and so far, we still can't right. see over that mountain. Right. We still can't see over that stop sign or the stoplight of what's going on at the next stoplight. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And it's like God. Yeah. God's looking down from heaven. If you if you could visualize God in heaven, I think I talked about this last week. But if you could visualize. You know, the best thing you've ever seen in your life, the best view I was talking about, like, yeah. that's what God wants to show us every day is like that beauty and stuff. But that's what he sees. 
He sees the whole wow. earth and he knows exactly what's ahead of you. So like, there's no way that we can go without trusting God because he knows what he's doing. He's seen the whole earth in one, in one look. He doesn't have to scroll Whoa. his eyes around. He looks down and sees the whole world. Bro, like, geez, thank you, Lord, for that. And like, bro, just I, 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 I saw the visual of it and I'm reminded of the scripture. He said the earth is his footstool. Whoa. And I'm, and I'm thinking, are you kidding? So, so. <laughs> So I'm picturing my feet on a footstool and then I'm like, all right, let me take my feet off the footstool of earth and now let me look down on it. Huh, check that out. I got a bird's eye view of my creation. And it's like, he's got such a broad view of what's really going on and he's already omnipotent, omniscient, uh, you know, and all of those things. But like, just think about it. If, if you were that big and you could look down and see everything, like, dude, he knows what he's doing. And, 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 <laughs> and he and knows what he's... what's he knows what's going on. It says yeah. that he knows the numbers of hairs on your head. That scripture yeah. has been spoken so many times by older people, and and I don't yeah. know why older people are so obsessed with that scripture. But <laughs> you know, like any of you older people listening on, let us know why you guys quote that scripture so much. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, the you know, like if he if. If he can see the number of hairs on your head from heaven, do you not think he can see the wreck around the corner if he tells you to slow down? Or do you not think that he can see a relationship that may be not going right? Like he knows Whoa. what that person does in private when he tells you to lay down the relationship. He says, I know that Bro. person's crooked in private, so I don't want you to be in a relationship with them. And then we and then we fight God and fight God and fight God and fight God until the point where we believe that he doesn't even exist because he's not answering our prayer. When our prayer uh -huh. should have been, God, let your kingdom come, let your will be Jesus. done on earth as it is in heaven. Not Ooh, God, give me this, yeah. give me that, give me this, give me that. I like that. Give me that, give me that, yeah. give me that. We, yeah, we, you're we, my genie. Yeah, and, and, and it's like, ask and it shall be given. Okay, what are you asking? Ask for God's will to be done in your life because the moment yep. you start asking for possessions is the moment that you'll start feeling empty. The moment you start feeling empty is the moment that you'll start pursuing sin. Sin is not for you who are in Christ. I was reading right. it this morning. It's not for you. So why do you right. feel so bad when you sin? Maybe it's not condemnation from other people. Maybe it's the fact that you were not created to sin after you were born again, set free from everything that you were in the past. Yeah, bro, so good because like exactly what you're saying, think about it, we're made in his image and likeness. <laughs> so, <clears throat> excuse me, made in his image and likeness. So here it is, he's like, all right, you're made in my image and likeness. And for some of us, it takes us 20 years to figure that out you know 30 years 40 years whatever it is and then next you know we're awakened to that and we're like man dude i believe what god says about me like he loves me and he's got a plan for me and he knows the hair on my head okay so if he knows all those things all right and all it is is us activating and knowing wow i believe what he believes about me that i'm made in his like he created me okay now i believe that now it's like wow all right if we believe that let's let's trust him to lead us through the way like you said if if if, if uh you're going out to like do the desires of the flesh and and that conviction that you're feeling it's because you weren't designed for that you just realize you come to the understanding that you're made in his image and you believe that now so there's no way you can go and keep doing the other thing you can but you're gonna feel this pull that's telling you bro that's not you because you've already been awakened to the point of that's not you. You're made in right. his image and likeness. Well, in the past week, I've been listening to music um, that I really enjoy. I mean, I've, I've enjoyed it for like two, three years. And it's mm -hmm. like, I can feel what's going on in the artist's life. And I right. haven't felt that in a while, but like I'm listening to a song on the radio and I'm like, man, this beat is killing it. Like, yeah. And then all of a sudden it's like, Ugh, like I feel the pain that person's going through. Wow. And it's so weird because, you know, I'm, I'm looking through all this and I'm like, you know what? What are they talking about? And I start listening to the lyrics and I'm like, 
these guys were talking about how they just got cheated on and all of a sudden my heart hurts like not because wow. not because like oh you know that's sin that's bad we're in christ uh you know what i'm saying not like right. pointing the finger but like right. looking looking and like my god this person's hurt and wow. they put a happy beat to it you know and, and wow. it's like it's real weird because god's been like touching my heart and giving me compassion for the arts yep. industry yep. specifically for for music um yeah we just lost you bro i'm gonna wait till it kicks in a minute and if it doesn't kick in in 10 seconds i'll just jump on with and wait for you. Yeah, so you're you're gone right now. So I love what 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 he's saying there too. Um, I'm trying to regroup my thought, but he's got a hard yeah, and that's the word is is compassion. He'll join us back. Tim will be back in a little bit. But what I saw that he was talking about the, is the same word I saw is is compassion. Is is you know. But we're, we're we're being led like Jesus by compassion, and when we're when we're led by compassion, we can understand what they're going through and now speak life into that situation. Listen, to you know, be quick to listen and slow to speak, and to speak the words that God is 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 wanting you to speak into their life. And um, so that's 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 really cool, and I, we definitely want to hear more on what Tim's got to say there. So as soon as he gets a connection back, he'll jump on. Crystal, nice to see you. I saw you, Dustin, Roe, Bug, saw you. If uh, mom and dad, if you heard me earlier, if you could send an invite to uh, Evelyn, I didn't get to send her an invite. Um, if you could share that and let her know, that'd be awesome. Dustin, how you been, brother? Doing good. I'm looking to see if my comments are not scrolling or anything, but uh, I think we're up to date. But uh, hope you're good, bro. Um, I miss. I wanted to go and see you in Tampa, but um, it, it it turned out to be a week. I had an event going on. I was helping another uh, ministry out here, uh, t uh, taking the city, uh, a big music ministry they do once a year, and it was on the same date, so I couldn't make it out there. But uh, next time you're in this area, I definitely want to uh, get to your house church and uh, see all the amazing things that God's doing over there with you, Dustin. So God bless you, bro. Timmy's here. All right. Let me see. All right. Let me get him on. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Tim. I don't know why it's not coming up. All right. So, Tim, um, if you could hear me, which I'm sure you could, it's not showing you to bring you on just yet for whatever reason. So, uh, as soon as it does, I will let you know. All it wants me to do is uh, is block you. <laughs> So, and I have, I have, uh, I could bring Bug on and I could bring Dustin on, but I can't bring you on for whatever reason. So, as soon as that kicks in, uh, I'll do that, brother. Um, Dustin, it was great. Wood, had love to see you there. Yeah, man, definitely we'll do that next time. Here comes Tim. We're going to add him on. Um, definitely, Dustin, we'll, we'll definitely uh, get together, brother. So, uh, um, I'm super excited for everything that God's doing. Um, in and through you and your family and um, just the desire that God's put on your heart to to travel and, and meet up with the body of Christ the way you are. It's just, it's awesome, man. So uh, God bless you, man. And uh, definitely we'll, we'll see you soon. So um, Tim, I hit add and I'm just waiting for it to add you. So uh, it just keeps saying adding. It's probably waiting for you to get a better connection. So I'm sure it'll kick in here soon. And then you can go on with uh, what you were going to share. Um, what else? Anybody else got anything else going on uh, as we wait for Tim to jump back on? Um, I just feel a, a be still moment at the moment. So if there's uh, anything that you guys um, in particular had a question on or uh, wanted to talk something through, put it on there so that we could definitely talk about it at the, uh, at the end or even possibly now if Tim doesn't come on. But... Uh, but we appreciate you guys, man. We always have you guys in our prayers, and I know you guys do the same for us. Uh, we're super excited that soon, uh, August uh, August 19th, uh, Tim and I will be back on the road. So Truth Church will be on the road together uh, doing a delivery to New York. So we're going to hit the high road from uh, Albuquerque, New Mexico, all the way to... Um, 
all the way to New York, uh, down to um, North Carolina. I'll get dropped off there, and then he's going to continue on to Tennessee and back home. So super excited about that, being able to travel again together. So that's cool. Let's see what God's going to do there. We know it's going to be good. And, uh, bro, yours ain't coming in, so I'm going to close you out and bring you back. Let's try it again. Bring Timothy on. So, man, so good. So good. I was talking to uh, my parents and, and, and other people uh, lately. What's been, been on my heart, too, is, is quality of life, you know, what what is your current quality of life what you know are there things that you can do now to increase your quality of life in Christ um to reduce debt to have more free time with the lord um to make yourself more available to God's will of of the ministry of reconciliation and spreading the gospel and and what are things that we could do um as far as maybe spending less money or maybe selling a house that we have to go somewhere else in a new city that you may think is scary because it's a new city, but the housing is $100,000 cheaper and your quality of life, therefore, is going to be better. And you don't have to work full time or two jobs, but you can go down to one job or go down to a part time job because now your debts are paid. So it's just something to think about. Maybe we'll, we'll, we'll time, uh, chime in on that here in a little bit but it's just something that's been on my heart too is 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 increasing the awareness of your quality of life or are, 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 are you making strides or steps plans this way God could direct your steps on quality of life so Jesus thank you Dustin Ooh, thank you father I give you all glory and praise right now Lord Jesus we just thank you Lord for this word that's coming the word of truth and I just pray that you would just speak, Lord, and that we would just hear your words and we would just speak your words, Father God. You give us the wisdom. You lead us into all truth, Father, because we're nothing without you. We're nothing without love. So, Father, you lead us. You direct us in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. So let me try adding Tim one more time, and then uh, I'm sure he'll, when he gets a better spot, he'll, uh, he'll jump on. So, yeah, he's not on yet, so I'll wait on that. So, yeah, let me keep going on this, uh, Dustin. Uh, um, so, yeah, our quality of life, are we, are, have we fallen into the trap, possibly, of the pattern of the world? Have we fallen into the trap of the pattern of the world, you know, of always having to have the house with the white picket fence and having to work two jobs now? You know, I, I see it all the time, like, and nothing wrong with this because I, I do Uber sometimes and I used to do Lyft. Um, but I do it because I have the freedom to do it. And, 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 and sometimes I share the gospel. I, I end up able to share the gospel with some of these people. And, and I'm looking for more freedom in my time that I can do things like this, live video, things that actually matter. What's up, Crystal? Good to see you, girl. Um, to make an eternal impact, you know. And, and if we could start... Really look at yourself in the mirror and, and, and ask the Lord for wisdom in your life and say, Lord, what is it? What areas in my life can I do a better job of to increase my quality of life in you? You know, what, and, and let, let the Lord show, show you that and start speaking to your heart on that. And he will show you ways that your quality of life could be better if you just make this sacrifice or if you just... Uh, tweak this or you do this or you sell your house from this area and buy a house in this area so uh like i said i, I, I as, as we uh i'm trying to add tim it's saying adding but it, he's not coming on um or it's not coming letting him come on for whatever reason it's just stuck in adding but um yeah man i and what are your thoughts on that you know what you know is there something that um god's been even speaking to you guys have you've heard this word of quality of life you know and um, being able to have more freedom of our time so that we're not always in a rush to get from point A to point B because we're working 40, 50, 60 hours a week and we're, 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 we're flying by each other and we're passing by 
the person that needs to hear Christ. We're passing by the, the believer that was once on fire and needs somebody to speak life into his dry bones. You see what I'm saying? And it's like we're so busy, we're so distracted, we're so focused on doing what we're doing that we sometimes miss the world around us. And, and if our quality of life gets better where we could slow down and have more time for the presence, then we can house that presence and we can get to a place where we recognize people, we're not passing by people and we're recognizing them and we're saying, you know, we have a word for them as far as speaking just life into their, their life and, and, and just praying for them. And, 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 and when we do that, when our quality of life in Him increases, and we continue to step out in faith and we grow from faith to faith and all of that increases. Our presence, our awareness in, in Him increases and now we get to a place where our shadow will heal people. It happened in the past. God's Word is the same yesterday, today and forever. So if it happened then, it can happen today and it will happen today as we all grow in the presence of God Almighty. Amen? So, but we got to remove some of these distractions. We got we to gotta, we gotta increase our quality of life and, um, and, and, and things like that. So, I'm um, sorry, I got a, a text message that I, that I saw here. Um, but, so it's just something to think about. And um, I pray that each one of you just take a moment and just, you know, am I, am, am, is my quality of life um, at its optimum? Are there things that I could do differently to increase my quality of life in Christ? You know? And uh, whatever that looks like for you, just roll with it and just know, make your plan and let him direct your steps. Amen. You just make your plans. And even if, uh, you know, you made a, a, a wrong turn on Albuquerque, just have the faith that he's going to redirect you. And that's all, you know. Um, man, Tim, bro, I'm sure you're listening, but I don't uh, see you. It just keeps saying adding, 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 and it's not uh, bringing you on. So... I can do one of two things. We could try this video and start over and have everybody jump back on. And you can, um, I can start the video again or you can start the video. Um, I'm at a Wi-Fi spot, so maybe it makes sense that I should start the video since this will be the master um, video. So it's up to you, bro. So you let me know on the comments if you want me to start a new video and see if we can get you back on. But it, it keeps saying adding and then it disappears after about a minute. So... But um, quality of life, yeah, man. In L.A. mountains, I got you, bro. I got you. Well, hey, um, you're killing <laughs> Jesus. That's all Jesus. I'll keep going then, brother. When, uh, when you keep uh, sending it, I'll, I'll try you again in a little bit, and we'll see if we get through. And uh, Lord, take the wheel. <laughs> I'll keep rolling, brother. Um, thanks, bro. So... Wow. Father God, thank you for, 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 for my brother Tim. Thank you for my brother Tim. And um, Lord, just thank you for what you're doing in both of our lives and in everybody else's lives that's on this video, Father. I just, I just feel this overwhelming presence of just Man, what's the word? I can't even describe the word right now, but it's just this overwhelming God's sovereignty on our lives and, 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 and this hunger that we have to just speak the truth, the word of God, everybody that's listening right now. And, and I just feel in my heart this overwhelming, like, there's just this rejoicing that's going on in my heart right now. I'm just so excited and rejoicing for each one of you guys because God's got us on a journey that's amazing, man. It's such an awesome adventure that we're going on right now with God. And, and, and just like Tim said earlier, you know, here's God looking down. Earth is his footstool. And he's saying, will you trust me? Will you put your faith in me and trust that I know what I am doing? And it's just, it's just an overwhelming awe. You guys feel that, right? That overwhelming awe of him. That overwhelming, wow, like, this is God we're talking about. Like, he does know what he's doing. Who am I to doubt God? 
who am I to doubt his ways? Who am I to doubt his plans? Uh, Tim said something that we can't see past the river bend and, and over the mountains and through the woods to grandmother's house we go. <laughs> but we don't, we don't, we don't, we can't see all those little nooks and crannies, but he can. And, and, and as we are, again, it goes back to the quality of life because as we're, we increase our quality of life, we're increasing our presence in him because there's less distractions and there's more awareness of his presence. And in that more awareness of his presence, we're doing what the father wants us to do. And, 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 and before that river bend, he's already speaking to us about what's coming up ahead. And, and he's given us a word for somebody that's down the street and he's already given it to you. And he's telling you, you already got a visual. It's a guy with dreads wearing a, this shirt or whatever. These things will happen. These signs follow those who believe. All our job is to do is believe and take God at his word and know that God knows what he's doing. And I just love it. It's, it's just been overwhelming in my heart just these last couple of days. He knows what he's doing. And... uh it's just awesome, and, and again, something I want to remind you guys, I, I'm sure you felt the same thing, I was tell, talking to my mom earlier about this, is the presence, um, no, that 2019, I felt it early on, and I felt it again halfway through, and it's still here now, but 2019 is the year of preparation, and I know you guys felt the same thing, that 2019 is the year of preparation leading into 2020 for what God's going to be doing in His kingdom. He's already doing a bunch of stuff right now. But what's coming, this, this, this uh, Habakkuk 2.14, Habakkuk 2.14, that's here, that's coming, is, 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 is just going to fill the whole earth with His glory. The knowing, the knowledge of Him is going to fill the whole world. And, and bro, brothers and sisters, it's coming. And 2019 is preparation for all of us. It's 2019, it's preparation for all of us, and we're already down to the final stretch of 2019. So can we increase our quality of life in Him so that this year of preparation, we can be sprinting 2020 and beyond and just running this marathon, right? Running this race of faith, of endurance with Christ and no more looking back at our past, no more looking to the side of distractions, just moving forward in Christ knowing that the victory is in front of us, that we're more than conquerors, that He has a plan and a future and a hope, and all we need to do is believe, take God at His word, and put one foot in front of the other, and that is faith, my friends. Even if we don't understand it, see it, know what's going on, we're trusting Him, and we're going to take one step at a time by faith and say, Lord, lead. You take the lead. Jesus, every knee will now will, will bow and tongue confess when he comes. Yes, that's right, Tim. And um, <laughs> that that's it. And it's, dude, 2020 will bow. I got you. 2020, bro. What's coming? Matter of fact, uh, Tim prophesied over this on the last video we did um, on Thursday night. And Tim, Tim, you said... Um, and I knew that was from the Lord, you said, we thank you, every single one of you guys that are on this journey with us on Truth Church, because Truth Church is not a new church. I mean, it would be considered a new church because it was, you know, we started it in May, but all we're doing is, is becoming the church that God's called us to be. All of us is the church, and we're just coming as one. And that's the thing. It's funny, I got my shirt, the one, I just realized it. <laughs> Ephesians 4, 4 through 4, 6. Uh, one, one body, one spirit, one hope, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God, Father of all. Ephesians 4, 4 through 4, 6. And, and it's the one church. And this is what it's about. Equipping each other. Equipping the saints. It didn't say it's the sinners. Equipping the saints. We're going to equip the saints to do the work of ministry, the ministry of reconciliation, reconciling the world back to God. And that's our mission. One church unity of the church no matter where we're at we're one nation one church under god and 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 and, and doing his will and um i don't know where i was going with that I, I lost my train of thought but the 2020 what's coming oh that's what it was tim was speaking on we thank you guys for coming on this journey because we know what god's going to do 
there's going to be signs and miracles and all these things happen because we believe. It's as simple as that. It's because we believe. God is just being God. God is just being who He is. Jesus is being just who He is. Holy Spirit is just being who He is. Think about that. Like, I'm just getting a revelation of that right now. Like, God is just being who He is. Omnipotent, omniscient, omnipresent, right? Jesus is just being who He is. The Redeemer, the Reconciler, the Provider, Jehovah Jireh, right? Holy Spirit is being who He is. The Convictor, the Comforter. Jesus, let us be who we are, believers. Jesus. Let us be who we are, made in His image, in His likeness. Let us be who we are, we're made to love others, one another. When we be that, and we walk in that, and we walk in the presence of God Almighty, of course our shadow is going to heal people. Watch, listen, pray. Amen. Of course our shadow is going to heal people. Bro, we're spending time with the Lord. It's not us. It's just our, our, us being uh, in tune with the Lord and, and watching and listening and praying and going about our day doing the Father's will and God's presence, Holy Spirit, is healing along the way. You know, the shadow here. And, 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 and I've said this before and I'll say it again. Before I die, I will raise somebody from the dead, not because of me, but because of Christ in me, the hope of glory. <laughs> I'm just believing it because it's happened before through Elijah, Peter, Jesus. So it's the same Holy Spirit, you know. So I'm excited, man, because 2020 is going to be phenomenal. And I'm just super stoked, super excited for you know obviously the rest of this year don't don't get me wrong it's been awesome but it's just gonna just keep getting better man we're all like fine wine man fine wine we just keep getting better and better and better and better and god saved the best for last just like his first miracle he turned he he saved the best for last yo you don't think he's poetic he's saving the best for last you remember what happened in acts Yup, Pentecost, yeah, watch for this last, last pouring of his spirit, watch, watch what this last wine, this new wine, this, this, this uh, last wine of him, of pouring out his spirit upon the, all the earth, Habakkuk 2.14 and Joel 2.28, watch what God's going to do, are you kidding me, Shh. we're going to see limbs grow out, we're going to see people walk from their, from their chairs, their, uh, their handicapped chairs, and we're going to believe for that, and I already know things like that are already happening. But it's just going to happen at an increased rate. Tim, I'm trying to add you now. We'll see if it kicks in. There you are, brother. <laughs> Welcome back. And you, uh, and you know, I was, I've been listening the whole time, trying to see awesome. when I get in. Sorry, these roads are bad. You're good, but, man. But just to go with what you're saying, you know, God, God was uh, speaking to Tony and I, you know, about different things, but they were very joined together in the past couple of days and one of the things was says if that um also in the book of uh now i'm trying to remember is it habakkuk or is it hosea it's it's habakkuk habakkuk right? 214 right yeah well there's that but then also at the end of, at the end of the oh yeah uh, the old testament hosea i can't remember right now that's just what happens when i drive too much you're good but but the but what the, what scripture says at the end of the Old Testament is that God will, you know, he'll restore the hearts of the fathers to the sons and yes. the sons to the fathers. And the way that we'll receive the miracles, the signs, the wonders is when the spiritual fathers humble themselves and they take upon spiritual sons and the spiritual sons have faith that they're tr that in trust in God that the spiritual fathers will stay with them and they won't be abandoned. You know, because that's the biggest issue with sons in our culture is the, the fear of abandonment. Wow. Yeah. And the biggest issue on this, on this, on this, um, this, the spiritual father's side is yeah. this, the rebellion of the sons. Wow. 
you know wow. and so and so there's fear on both sides like hey if i train this guy up you know like he might start what happens if he just turns <laughs> away from the face yeah. which is also abandonment he yes. fear he fears the son will abandon the faith and the son abandons that the spiritual father will abandon him physically right Right. You know, and so there's this fear of abandonment that um, that the United States has taken upon themselves. And and for whatever reason, whether it's because we're entertaining so much um, intimacy between um, man and woman uh, without there being marriage or commitment, whether it's that and that's welcoming in that fear of abandonment, whatever that reason is behind the scenes, it exists in our country and in our culture and the way that we break that is what we're doing with our church we're bringing one generation with another generation and coming into agreement yeah my generation is different than tony's generation and tony's generation is different than mine what we want to do is we want to have all generations in our church we're not looking for a young a young church that only has this style like right. I'm not saying we're gonna. I'm not saying true church caters to every single style, but what it does is it caters to the generations. When I say caters, it, it means this. It means that we love every generation. Yeah. So we're gonna love them the best that we can. We're gonna yeah. love each other. We're gonna learn to work together. We we may not agree on everything, but what agreeing on should be in a church is not just music style, not just what to eat for potlucks, or not just what to, to, you know, not what the sanctuary should look like, or anything like that. Our agreement should be solely on our foundation in Christ, and that mm -hmm. is how we can get along. But, Jesus. you know, what I, what I see Jesus doing in the, in the last days is bringing together every single generation that exists at this current moment and us learning to love each other and it's not it's not white yeah. against blacks and it's not men against women and it's not you know there's yeah. it that's not really what's going yeah. on although the media is portraying little bits right. and pieces of what's going on and it, you know blowing it up so so everybody thinks that's what's happening and then everybody right. starts you know fearing it and then it you know and then it goes viral no what the real issue is is this is that what god's trying to do is bring us all together and love one another and the world is obviously trying to split it apart by causing dissension by taking a camera and showing people hey this is what's going on and not showing any good news yeah so what so what is our purpose as truth church to bring the generations together and to share the good news Amen. and all the other news will appear false that's or right. it will or it won't appear as large as it is even though the media is, is is sharing it so deeply it won't appear as um as large as it really is of an issue right. and we'll be able to see that there is good happening in the world there are people being set free from alcohol and drugs and pornography and prostitution you know there are people being set yep. free from being blind yep. there are people being set Amen. free from leprosy you know there there's yep. people they being healed there. from hiv aids yep. these things have happened i'll yep. tell you why because i've seen them with my own eyes and i was exactly. able to pray for people that were dealing with all of those things yeah and i saw god heal them so you know whether it's whether it's from our mouth or from God's voice yelling down from heaven, things like what God <laughs> wants to do in our world yep. will happen. Yes. But the question is, will you be able to see it or not? Yeah, will you be Will part you of be it? able to listen to the word that God is saying and walk in it and speak about it and be and walk in truth? Or will you be able, or are you going to share all of the evil that's going on in the world? I mean, I don't feel like that is our purpose in today's age, is to walk around and share the bad news. Oh, no. It's the good news of the you gospel. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. why do we, why do, you know, I feel like there's some scripture that talks about, like, why do you even talk about what people do in the dark? Like, exactly. what's the purpose of it? What's the purpose of it? It's not bringing yep. life to anybody. 
and you know this is you know I have to actually get off on an exit so I got to I got to peace out here again okay. sorry for all the peace and out you're good but, you're good but the last thing that I wanted to share was this is that we are media in today's age whatever we do we get on our phones and we share it it's our choice and whether it lifts up the name of Jesus Christ or whether it lifts up another. Yes. And what God's wanting to do in our country is to eliminate everyone who is listening to themselves, listening to one another, and start listening to Him. Because the moment we listen to Him, all of our fear goes away. The moment yes. we start listening to Him, all of the direction and the wisdom and the, and the knowledge that we've been asking for comes. And, and all the disorders and the diseases and everything that has been said as okay and everything that has been accepted in our culture or in our hospitals starts right. decreasing because our faith is in God's voice and is in his word alone. Yes. Yes. And the scripture that Jesus, the scripture that just came to mind as soon as you finish that, bro, and I know you're heading out, is... All creation is groaning for the sons and daughters of God to be revealed. You see? And it's us standing in who we are in Him. And, and we're revealing that truth out in the world. So, hey, Tim, I know you had to bounce out. Um, thanks for that word. That was awesome. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to chime in on that here as we comment. Love you guys. Have to go. Uh, please pray for Amy Nash. Definitely uh, will do that. Um, heart issues. So, Dustin, thanks for putting that comment out there, and we will definitely all do that, and uh, we appreciate that so much. So um, let me see if that comes back on or not. And um, so Dustin will definitely be doing that. So Church, you saw you saw what he um, he was uh, asking us to do. So let's all let's do that. Uh, matter of fact, we'll pray at the end before we close out, um, and then if you guys want to pray further, obviously, then do so as well. So. Um, I'm wondering why this shows, bring him on, bring, okay, nope, no answer, okay, so that was awesome, that was such, so timely what, what Tim was talking about, and, and the thing is, is, um, the thing that Tim was talking about is, is you notice how he was talking about there was a lot of fear, 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 um, where people were making decisions based out of fear, the, the, uh, a leadership in church, um, not, uh, wrapping their arms around a son or a daughter, uh, because the fear of, you know, what if they fall off? What if this happens? What if that happens? But the, the, the thing is, is there's no fear in Christ. I mean, fear is not of the Lord, of uh, bottom line. So right there should give us a clue. Why are we fearing? And that should tell us, wait a second, um, that means I'm not leaning on him. I'm not having faith and trust in him. And if you have to pray and say, Lord, help me with my own belief, then do that. And, and, and in those situations, I'm saying. But ultimately what I saw, when, what, what Tim was saying is, is the reason we get to that place is because of lack of identity. See, if you don't know your identity in Him, if you don't know your identity in Christ, then you're always going to constantly compare yourself to others and those around you. So you're going to constantly compare, oh man, some, this person is going to try to take my job, or this person is going to try to take my position at church, or this person is going to try to take my whatever. None of that's yours. Aren't, aren't you supposed to be denying yourself and following Jesus? <laughs> so, so it's not about you. It's not about me. And uh, 10, se uh, 10 seconds. I don't know what Tim, Tim, Tim just texted me. I was trying to read it, but I didn't read it fast enough. Let me see if I can add him on here. Uh, nope. So um, it's not about us. So we're going to come to the unity of Christ like we talked about earlier and we were saying that we're like, no, we're going to grow together, loving one another, encouraging one another, and bringing unity in the body of Christ, the church. And the body of Christ, the church is us. It's you and I. It's Claudia. It's me. It's Tim. It's Dustin. It's the bug. It's Ro. It, it's Evelyn. It's, it's, it's all, all of you. It's Crystal. Everybody that's been online, it's us being the church, taking God at his word, and sharing the good news. You know, and, and sometimes sharing the good news is just us living an awesome life in Christ, knowing that through the ups and downs, we're still even keel. And you might have moments here where it's a little bit of a struggle, but you ultimately know, wait a second, let me realign with God. I'm going to take him at his word. I'm going to trust him. And we're going to lean on his truth 
and, and, and I don't, I'm not going to focus on the, um, all the situations and the circumstances that are around me that are telling me, hey, uh, this is happening, that's happening, um, and, 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 and get your eyes on the, um, and get your eyes, oops, and get your eyes on the situation or the circumstance or the problem or the issue. Again, those are the distractions. Those are the things that are wanting us to not stay focused and align with God, with Christ. So, no, we're going to allow His truth to speak louder in every situation and circumstance that we go through. But real quick, I want to open up for the last five minutes or ten minutes at the most uh, or whatever God's doing. But I want to honor everybody's time. And if it goes longer, it'll go longer automatically. We'll just let it flow. But... um I want to open it up to anybody that any 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 of you guys that are online right now that has a question, something that you've been um, wondering about, um, or maybe a prayer request. Let's put that out there um, because this is us loving one another, encouraging one another, and being there for one another. And um, so we want to open up the floor to anybody else out there um, that wants to share something. So feel free to do that. Um, if somebody wants to jump on the video for a, a minute or two, uh, we can do that as well as we uh, close out here. So I'll, I'll wait a, a, a minute here and let you uh, uh, type in anything that you guys may want to type in. And uh, so yeah, man, I'm excited. Um, remind, just a quick summary uh, of what everything we were talking about, uh, quality of life, you know, how could we increase our quality of life in Christ? What does that look like? And how could we um, increase our quality of life in Him? Um, to be able to have more free time, to maybe even shift from uh, a 40-hour work week that's, um, you know, 9 to 5 somewhere, and now you can kind of shift to maybe you're only part-time there and you're part-time doing, or 30 hours there and doing 10 hours on a passion that you really have, you know, making music for the Lord, uh, uh, creating artwork for the Lord, uh, starting your own business, um, you know, for the Lord. Now, don't get me wrong. When I say that, you should be working unto the Lord anyways. If you're working at Starbucks, Chick-fil-A, whatever job you're doing, um, you're doing it unto the Lord. And that'll help you to see um, His goodness in all things. That you're not doing it unto the boss, but you're doing it unto the Lord. And you're not doing it so that the boss sees you doing good work so that you can get a raise. You're doing it all in excellence because you want to honor God. But um, quality of life. And uh, so I just wanted to summarize that. But, uh, but yeah, doesn't look like anybody's got anything that they wanted to chime in on. Um, so that's what I wanted to find out. So I'm going to go into prayer for Amy Nash. Uh, Dustin said, I love you guys. I have to go. Please pray for Amy Nash. Sweet lady connected to us. She's having heart issues. So, Father God, we just lift up Amy Nash right now, Lord. We are standing in agreement with Dustin and the rest of the the brothers and sisters in Christ, Lord, and we just lift up Amy Nash and the heart uh, complications that she's dealing with, the heart issues that she's dealing with right now, that, Father God, that you would just touch her heart, Father God. It says in your word that you, you have replaced our stony heart with the heart of flesh. And, Father God, I just pray that her heart of flesh that you have given her, that you would just touch it and heal it in Jesus' name right now, Father God, that her heart issues will be gone in Jesus' name, Lord, and that you would get all the glory, Father God, for what you're doing because it is you who, who, who has the power. It is you that brings the healing. You are our healer. You are a redeemer. You are a reconciler. You are a provider. You are Jesus, the living God. And we just give you all glory and praise, Father. And we, we, we ask for a good report and a good report soon from Dustin on Amy's behalf. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, guys, uh, praise God. Mm, thank you, Lord. So good. Well, guys, love every single one of you. Let's uh, have quality time with the Lord. Let's slow down a little bit. Let's not bypass every single person. God wants to reach everybody. And, and sometimes it's in a smile. Sometimes it's in a hug. Sometimes it's just carrying a conversation with somebody and speaking life into their situation. So take a moment to uh, listen be uh, quick to listen, slow to speak. You may not always have the answer, but you know Christ has the answer. And sometimes you just need to speak life or just pray with them or just hold them, hug them, smile at them. And let's love one another. Let's encourage one another. Let's be compassionate. Jesus was led by compassion to people. So let's be led by compassion and let's have an awesome week in Him. We still got the rest of the week. 
Let's thank God for the breath of life that's in us. And let's just thank Him every morning, every afternoon, every night. We give Him all glory and praise for every step we take, every move we make. You know, that song, Every Breath I Take, right? The police, Sting. But anyways, love you guys. God bless you guys. We'll do this again. And I, like I said, in about two weeks, we'll be on the road, Tim and I, and we'll join together, join forces on the road, and that'll be a fun time. And I'm sure we'll do uh, multiple videos and stuff so we can share uh, the journey with you guys. So God bless you guys, and that's it. Love y'all. All right. Good night.